In today's news, Cotto's back in August. Aram has Crawford's future all mapped out. And the WBC set to open up an interim welterweight title fight. Hey everybody, I'm a very sick Jason Abelson with your Boxcaster News. Now excuse my sexy voice. It is just me, yes, I am that, but I'm also very, very sick, so I apologize. Bob Aram has got Terrence Crawford's future planned out and ooh, it looks good. According to Aram, the roadmap for Crawford will lead through Julius Ndongo, the other unified champion at 140 pounds, probably in August. And then later on in the year, the super fight they've been talking about for a while. According to Aram, it's time to get made. That is Terrence Crawford going up against Manny Pacquiao. Can this year get any better? It keeps getting better. The off again, on again, off again, on again. Return of Miguel Cotto is on again. You thought I was going to say off again. No. <laughs> Got he. <laughs> Got he. <laughs> it's happening. August 26th against Yoshihiro Kamage. And what a war that's going to be. Oh, my God. Mark it down, baby. Fight of the year. It's going to be a great one. It's Kodo. He's back. We missed you, baby. And the WBC is set to announce that it's going to be opening up an interim world title for its welterweight crown this after. Reigning champion Keith Thurman will let it be known. He'll be out to the end of the year after surgery on its right elbow. And normally I hate interim titles because they never go away. But you know what? Makes sense here. You got a lot of great fighters at 147. Sean Porter is a mandatory challenger. He's waiting for his shot. I think it's going to be a good thing. I just think it sets up more big fights if the WBC does it properly. Come on, Maurizio. Do it properly. Do it properly for us. You owe us. Huge. Anyway, for all the best boxing news and features anywhere on the web, you know where to come to. Right here, Boxcaster. Can someone get me some Robitussin?